Hello and welcome to the channel. And today we are going to be looking again at the Outin Nano Portable Nespresso Machine. Uh, I've already done a video on this on the first kind of look and the unboxing and um, we pulled espresso out of it and now I've had a good chance to play with it. I've been using it for a couple of weeks now so I'm going to give you my thoughts on the good and the bad points on this, the Outin Nano. So here it is then, the Outin Nano uh, Nespresso machine. Uh, this is in the teal colour and I think it is a fantastic colour. They do do other colours on the website but for me I think this is my personal favourite hence why I got this one. Um, and we've looked through the box, we've looked all the bits in the box, so I won't go through that again, but I'm going to talk about the bits that come with it. So essentially what this is, is this bit of the bottom here, you either put an espresso pod in, which I've got here, and we'll do one in a second, or use this. I've used this once, I did get on very well with it, and I don't plan on using this, but what you do is you put fine grind coffee in there. Uh, this is quite handy because it fits perfectly in there, so you can tamp it down. Um, I found out I was getting it quite watery through there, so I wasn't tamping it hard enough or it wasn't the grind, and I just thought, I'm never going to use it. I don't, you, I don't plan on using this, but if you want to, the option is there. I just basically plan on using it with my Nespresso pod. So I've got a really cheapo Nespresso pod that we're going to fire a shot through later for some testing as well. Uh, and all you do is you poke that on there, and then you hold that button down there, because that is a button there where it lights up. Is That is... You hold that down for two seconds, but if you just press it very quickly, it has the four LEDs there, and that will tell you what the battery status is. So you've got 25%, 50, 75, and 100%. And then if we spin it over here, you have this flap, and that's where you charge it up. So it's USB-C. Uh, I've got my power bank here. If I just quickly plug this in, I can show you. So we're charging it up there, and we can see that I am pretty much full battery as we're charging. When this goes down to that, you'll be able to see how much battery is being charged. I really like that feature, so you can tell if you're in a rush and you think, oh, I need a couple of shots out of this, get it up to 50%. You can see that it's 50%, unplug it, and then away you go, take it out with you. And this flap here, it's kind of like rubber. Okay, so it seals, almost seals that, because this is kind of waterproof bit, and you can happily stick this under the tap to wash it, and you will need to wash it every single time, okay? I made the mistake of making an espresso out of this. I left it for a couple of days, took an espresso out, and it was a bit, it stunk. It wasn't very good at all, so you need to kind of wash this um, every, certainly every day, if you can, after every shot. And then on the top is the lid, which is nice and firm. Okay, so it's got like a rubber seal on the top there to keep that in. And then inside there, you, this is where you put your water in. And you'll see that there's three levels there. I don't know if you can see that. There's a max 70 mil and 50 mil. So max 70 mil and 50 mil. So 70 mil will get you about a 60 mil shot. 50 mils will get you about a 40 mil shot through there. So 10 kind of stays in, in the Nespresso pod there. What you need is you put your water in, you hold that down for two seconds, and then it starts to gurgle off, and it fires it out down through there into this cup here if you want to. So you can put that cup on there, like that, and it will fill up this cup. Uh, for the purposes of today's video, I've got this. I can just lean that on there when we do some testing. The way that, the way that it works by um, when you're out and about is the fact that it's battery operated, okay? So it's got all these massive batteries in here, and that is the one thing to consider about one of these, okay? There are two types of things that will affect the battery life, and that's the heat of the water and how much water you put in. Okay, so the less water you put in, the hotter it is, the quicker it will be, and the more shots you'll get out of this. They say on the website you can get 200. Well, I haven't tested that, but I didn't touch the battery when I was putting boiling water in. So boiling water into here, and I was doing it up to about 50 mils. You're just going to get loads and loads and loads before it needs to charge. If, however, you put in cold water, which is practical for most people. I say, if you're gonna be taking this out and about, you're not gonna be able to take out boiling hot water with you. You're probably gonna put hot water, cold water in it. I put cold water in to 70 mils, and I got four shots out of this, okay? So you're gonna get four coffees using cold water on one full charge of this, okay? So something to consider when you're out and about. If you can, like me, taking a battery bank out and then you could charge it out and about, that's great. So you can just fire it up and charge it up on the way. You can, great. If you can't and you've got to, you can use a plug. That's something that you've got to consider. Right, so let's get it set up then. Let's, so what you do is unscrew that 
And this is the Nespresso attachment bit. So you stick your Nespresso pod in there. Inside there are three kind of spikes and that's gonna pierce the underside of the Nespresso capsule. So you pop it in there and I can feel there's a bit of resistance. So as soon as that pushes in, that's gonna pierce the bottom of the Nespresso. I'm gonna pop that in there like that onto the outer end and there we, this is where it's gonna press. Okay, so a bit of resistance. So if I twist it tight, there we go. It will have pierced that now and it's ready to send the water down there we're gonna put in. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to put in 70 mils of cold water straight out of the tap. Okay, so I've got 70 mils of water over here and we're gonna see how much we get out and I'm also going to time it. So this will be your worst case scenario, okay? I'm on full battery, so I'm at 100%, if not very close to 100%, and we'll see what the battery life goes down to. Okay, so let's get the water. And we're up to the 70 mil mark there, okay? Put the lid on, got my espresso in there. Just gonna leave that on there, because quite handily, this fits it perfectly, so I can just leave it on there. Get the iPad, and then as soon as I hold it on this for two seconds, it's gonna start boiling, and I'll start the clock, and we'll start the timer going to see how long it takes. Okay? So one, two, there we go, and start the clock. And a really good thing as well to notice here is you can see how long it's taking. So if you'd have put boiling water in, it probably would start up on the four there. So that just kind of tells you the temperature of the water and how long you've got left. So you see one, and then however long in a minute or so, it will flick up to the two, then the three, then the four. And when it gets to the four, you know you're pretty much ready for your coffee to drop. Right, so it's just finished. And if you look here, it took five minutes and four seconds for it to boil 70 mils from uh, cold through to boiling for it to be ready. And then it took another minute for it to extract the amount there. It's about 55, 60 mils. So we lost about seven, 15 mils or so from the actual shot. And it's very hot. It's really good, really good temperature. And obviously with it being, um, Battery powered out and about. Let's just quickly check the, the battery. So we've got two, okay, so we might get another couple out of there. With this, you see, you don't have to do it in a kitchen. You can take this out and about and have it whilst you're out at, say, I don't know, maybe out like at the beach. Hello, we're here on the beach. It is freezing. My car said minus four, so I'm not sure what I'm doing down the beach, but I've got my out in here tester see whether the espresso out and about and what I've done is because I can't be bothered to wait for that long for the water to boil I've also bought a flask of what was boiling water so I'm hoping this will speed up the process okay so let's get cracking on and make an espresso so here we go then first things first uh, an espresso pod into the machine and then make sure there's no sand on it there we go nice and tight and um, I'm gonna use this the cup that it comes with uh, that's not sand in there, that's sand on the bottom. So I'm gonna pour that into there. So now I'm gonna put uh, some water into this. And as I said, I'm gonna be using my hot water from my flask. And then what this does, this just means that it just speeds up so I don't have to wait. So if I pour it up, I'll just have a small shot. I'll take it up to the 17 mil mark. Okay. Then I pop the lid back on and then hold this down for two seconds till it beeps there we go now what i'm going to do is just wait for the espresso to come out so the hot water got up to about 75 percent straight out of the flask that's not too bad
There we go, that's done. I'm gonna tip it up that way just so I don't get any sand in the bottom of it. And then there is my espresso on a beautiful day on the beach. There's no one around, lovely stuff. So here we are then, proofs in the pudding, let's have some up. Lovely. I guess hardly, I might pour another one. I might have another one and then we'll go back to the house and just finish off the video. Right, back in the kitchen where it's warm. The Altin Nano. Um, there's a lot to like about this. There's a couple of things I don't like about this. So the main thing for me is the portability. I think it's absolutely fantastic. It feels a really good quality product. Like I said, I'm not going to hold the battery against it. You could say, oh yeah, but I'm only going to get four shots, three or four shots out of this on a charge. Um, you're not going to get that from any other portable machine. You're not going to get more than that from any other portable machine at the moment. So unless it's one that you hand pump yourself. But if you want it to extract with a battery, uh, this is about as good as it gets. So I'm not going to hold it against it. Um, I love the Outin, the logo there. I love the fact that you can do the battery. I love the, the progress indicators of that. I love the fact that it's uh, kind of waterproof and you can just give it a rinse under there. And I love the fact that it does an espresso. Or if you want to, the, the fresh coffee. I think overall, it is a fantastic package if you're someone who wants to go out and get a, um, a portable Nespresso machine, if you're out and about where you're camping or at the beach or, or whatever you want to do. Um, there's just a couple of things that I think um, I don't like about this. Um, it is around £140, fine. It doesn't come with a travel case. Uh, there is another one I've got, it comes with a travel case. I'd like to have seen that included. That's another £40. So that takes this up to £170, which is quite a lot of money for coffee. But for me, I think it's worth it. And I think I'm going to be getting the, the travel case for it. Um, another thing as well, really minor, is you can't really set this off and leave it. Um, this is a really niche minor negative. I understand that. But basically, if you've got this, you've only got this, you take it out and about and you put it on there. Your espresso fires in there, which is fine, there's enough room in there. It's just, it builds up a bit of pressure because this is sealed here with the cup in there. That's, that's like sealed around there. So you kind of have, you can't really leave it on there while it's going because it just creates all the steam in there and the pressure builds up in there. So you kind of have to have it out. So you can't really just leave it going because it will fill up there. So you have to wait for it to go and then you have to hold it up. <sighs> yeah, fine. It's a small one, I know that. I was lucky with, with my shot because I can just leave it on there and just leave it and let it go like that. But if you haven't got access to be able to one of these, you've got to wait and then when it fires off and you think it starts shot starting, you've got to hold it up or hold it over your cup. Very small thing. I wouldn't let that worry you. But everything about this, the whole package is absolutely fantastic. I think this is a brilliant machine. The Outland Nano, if you've got any questions for me, um, like times and things like that, uh, let me know down in the comments below. I'll happily go and answer them for you. you know, if you've got any other questions for this, I think this is a brilliant machine if you're gonna go out and about. Like I said, a couple of small negatives. I don't think they're gonna to be too bad, but plenty and plenty of positives. Okay, so do like, do subscribe. Any questions, let me down in the comments below. And until the next video, bye-bye. Can't you think of a better place to have an espresso actually? On a beach, no one else for miles the whole place is empty so cheers thank you very much